been putting this little crate together for a while. Every time I'm scrapping something, if something else has to be done to it, I've been throwing it in this bucket. See it today, it's raining out. Good time to go through this bucket, find out what we have. See if we can't turn it into something better. Shred. I was I don't want any steel in my eyeballs. Not today. I am blessed to have a shop to work in when it's raining. Copper nuggets. Goodness. Looks like it screws in now. I might have to throw that in the vise. I'm not sure if my blade's long enough today here. It is. I just cut that end off. Throw that in my shred. It's a nice heavy piece of brass. I slice it right down that line right there. Same thing on the other side. Clean brass. That's it. Nice clean piece of brass. That's how I do them. These here I have brass and copper. Take off as much as the copper as I can. For me, that's clean brass. Nice piece of brass nugget, but there's a
I'm not sure if that'll come up or not. There we go. There we go. Trash. Just a little piece of aluminum nugget. Nice clean brass nugget. Aluminum. These are also clean brass. Getting some goodies today. Getting some goodies today. Raining out. I said, you know what? I'm going out in the shop. I'm going out in the shop. Nice piece of brass. Nope. Not brass, it's white metal. Some type of a cast aluminum. Because it's definitely not magnetic. I would throw that into my aluminum because it's not stainless. Although it's white, it could be a zinc, but it's awful heavy. Could be a zinc. It is heavy. I would throw that in my zinc and then these into my little copper pile. This thing here doesn't work. We'll get to it eventually. And we'll get to it today too. On my cords. Even though that looks silver on the inside of that, that is more than likely nickel coated copper, but I throw it into my extension cord just like it is. Cut these ends off. I don't wanna let that go. I'll throw that little piece right into my strap because it does have some metal in it. That goes in my cords, uh, ends, and that goes in my cord bucket. Yeah, it's raining out. You can hear it. Couldn't have for a better time to... Yeah. Nice, solid piece of heavy brass. I think that weighs. That's three-tenths of a pound of brass. Brass is like two-something a pound right now, too. This is a nice, really nice piece of red brass. It's kind of a mix. It seems like there's uh, red brass down here, but yellow brass here. There's also some yellow brass on the inside. So this is probably going to be categorized because of all the yellow brass as a piece of clean yellow brass, but... There's something inside that doesn't seem to be magnetic. So I'm thinking that might be a piece of stainless. Stainless is not worth near as much as... I'm going to have to change my blade here. Next cut here. I would put that in my clean yellow brass. Brass on brass, but there's always some steel inside of these. I've never quite figured out how to take it apart, to be honest with you. It's got some ball bearings right there. 
Never have I taken one apart. So do you throw it in something like that in your dirty brass? Well, probably would end up throwing it in your dirty brass, but before I do, I'm gonna at least get this one nugget of clean brass off there. Yeah. We'll get some vice work. Another piece is going on the vice later. That has a piece of copper in it. Copper is more expensive and brass is made out of copper. I would throw that in my clean brass. I don't think my yard would say anything. I don't think they're gonna tell me that's dirty. So I would say clean brass. All of my plug-in ends have their own spot. All of them, 15 cents a pound, I think is what I got uh, when I went to the shred yard, uh, scrap yard with them. 15 cents a pound. If you want to get real technical and do some real micro scrapping, which I don't do, there is a copper piece in here right there. A couple, and there's also some probably silver beads on there, but I just don't mess with these things. I think they're small and monotonous, but the scrap yard could definitely get something out of that. So I throw that into my, my shred pile. These here, I get like a dollar something a pound for them at the scrap yard. It's all copper. You can take, I can find my cutters. You can take, oh, my knife. I put it in my truck today. Take your knife and just cut that little piece of plastic off there so it's clean. And you'll get clean for it. But like I say, these, they have that little copper stuff on the inside of there, but I don't, I don't have time to recover that little bit of stuff that's in there. But the scrap yard will, so I'm going to throw that into my, my shred pile for them. My big dryer plugs. I take all these things here and I throw them right into my plug box i do not make plug soup some people will cut these off not that hard with a grinder you could cut them off See, there's different ways everybody scraps differently right, so i got to change my battery and my blade, but you can cut them off, and then there is still a small amount. I'm just not sure if the scrap yard at this point will give you anything for that. So I just leave them like they are, and uh, I might ask the yard though if I cut them off, would they give me anything for that? Because there is still is some pretty good amount of copper in there. I have some zinc. Zinc. White metal, pop metal, zinc. Basically, it's an aluminum. It's a form of aluminum. Another piece of what I think is zinc. Zinc. Zinc, aluminum. That does have a bit of brass on it. It's not magnetic. It's not magnetic. It has a piece of brass on it, but I don't save them little pieces yet. Haven't got that far. Some more zinc, I believe. Zinc. Pop metal. Put these on the bench. Don't think I got enough battery power. Let's get some battery. My blade. Is also getting super small, so I'll be changing that here soon. A 
rain is coming down. Aluminum. Aluminum, now you have a piece of clean brass. Might have to take that little bit of crap off of there. Brass. Magnetic. That can be shred, though. Wire. Magnetic. Generally, these are little brass nuggets, but they do have a piece of steel right in the middle of that. Definitely brass. Hope everybody's having a blessed day. Big country, I see him do these. He cuts that thing, I think, somewhere. And then supposedly, that piece pops out, but I haven't been able to do it yet, so. I guess I'll have to watch some more big country. That's a piece of dirty copper for me right now. Piece of, piece of zinc, separating it as I come to it, copper ring, this thing needs to come apart, so I'll take that apart some more. Cut that off, don't have my knife. There you go. I think they gave me a dollar fifteen a pound for these last time. Man, a lot. All right, I gotta go and get the phone call. Man, it is just absolutely pouring out here. That's something I won't do again for a little piece of brass. Too much work. Too much work. Make a clean piece of brass. Yep, nice yellow brass, clean. Zinc. Zinc is a little more heavy than your basic aluminum. Zinc is going to be a little heavier. Oh, 
That is brass, even though it looks the same as that zinc piece or that silvery. Underneath that silvery is brass. Nice little brass nuggets. I find a lot of times that these chains that you get from ceiling fans are brass except for that little piece right there sometimes, but then sometimes it is. So that piece is brass. Pop metal. Pop metal. Pop metal is basically aluminum. Maybe the cheaper of the aluminums. Might be a little more steel in it, but still it's not magnetic. brought my knife outside I tell you I need to get my knife back in here because that should be in my clean processed plug ins plug ins plug ins and plug ins right down in my box aluminum with some nice brass I'm gonna put this over here and in my do it a little bit later box because we're gonna have to move over to the vice for that. Well, look at there. Let it drill. Tighten our bit. So we know what that cord went to. That over there. Throw that little bit in the extension cords down into the plug in ends. 15 cents a pound. You missed it. 15 cents per pound. These right here. Believe it or not, it doesn't take a whole lot of these things to add up. I put this thing on a water spigot and the thing works like crap. So it looks like, to me, like a nice piece of clean brass. I'll put that in my yellow brass. Plug ends. Plug ends. Brass. Oh yeah. Brass. Goodness. tried to figure out how to get that apart before. I think I'm going to try again. Might try again. Let me see if I got something small enough for that. Nope. I'm gonna have to set that aside because I got a little Allen wrench for that and I don't have it on my bench. Brass, put my goggles back on. I'm sure I'm gonna be cutting something here in a minute. I do not want anything in my eyeball. Still has a plastic pipe inside there. Plastic pipe. I hate to put something like that into my dirty when it's so clean. The only way to do it, though, is to split it. I'm not sure if I can do it. Yeah. 
with it. There's brass, a little piece of plastic in there. Still stuck inside of that piece of copper. It was like welded in there. Nice, clean. Clean, number one, Kappa. Got some brass. This came out of a plug, like a long plug. Clean them up. Just got to cut that little bit of junk off of it and throw that in the clean brass. Taking these apart before, and this is generally just a piece of aluminum that wraps that. Nice. Brass goodness. I throw these into my shred pile. I'm not sure what everybody else does with them. Some copper goodness right there. But the scrap yard knows how to recover that kind of stuff. No, I don't so much. But I know this has some magnetic qualities, but it also has some non-magnetic qualities. So I don't have a problem throwing something like that into my shred pile and not trying to fight with it. I believe that's a piece of brass and copper. Nice piece of brass and copper. If I cut that, it pulled through, but apparently there's something else in there that's not going to let that happen. Yeah, that little metal fitting that I can't seem to get to. I'm going to throw that into my dirty brass because it has a metal steel fitting that I cannot get to. Right there. You don't want to fight with stuff too long. Here we go. Cord ends and plug ends. These, again, they are magnetic. I guess they have some gold in them. Whatnot. I don't get a lot of them. Probably get any of them, actually. Piece of heavy zinc right there. Yeah. Pop metal. It's heavy. Hot metal is heavy. Oh, I 
That's a nice piece of yellow brass. Solid piece, too. That's heavy. Zinc. These, again, I told you, I don't know what to do with these things. Besides, throw them in my dirty brass. The irony brass, whatever they want to call it. Couple O rings. Couple O rings. Yep. Nice piece of clean. I am having a blast out here in this rainy day. Rain can't run me off. That's a nice piece of copper right there. But it's dirty. It's been fit together, so it has solder in it. Dirty copper has solder in it. It's a piece of brass. I might could get rid of it. Could probably call that clean brass now. A little piece of um, copper. Save all your little pieces. They really do add up over time. This piece of brass. This thing looks like it went to a snuff bottle. I've seen these before. Don't have the snuff bottle, but that's a nice piece of brass from my snuff bottle. And I say that because of all the holes. Or maybe a salt and pepper shaker. I don't know. Either way, it's a nice little nugget. These can be brass. I could probably save them into something different. I don't. Put that stuff in my shred. The wire. Hope everybody's having a good day. I mean, I've been, I've been feeling blessed. I'm getting ready to go to New Jersey and visit my mother-in-law for a week. I'm working on these videos that I'm doing right now for something to be playing while I'm gone. So even while I'm gone, I'm hoping to have a, some videos coming up. Hope you enjoy them. This is aluminum, goodness. Everything on here is aluminum. Aluminum, goodness. Aluminum nuts. Put them right into your aluminum pile. There is a rubber gasket. Get rid of that. Looks yellow. But under it is aluminum, so it's just kindly painted. This is all clean, old sheet aluminum. I'm finally getting to that. That box. Yellow brass. And by the way, your scrapyard wants wants you to Some blades do not cut as good as the other set of blades that I just bought. got that thing hot and melting that thing was melting a couple little copper nuggets though save them little things I'm making myself a pile over here for bringing to the vise I 
That's a nice little brass nugget, but if you look close, it does have a ring down there, and the ring's not magnetic. It makes me think it's maybe a piece of stainless, so maybe a stainless type of washer in there. Let's see if we can part. Oh, look at that. I'm going to throw that in my shred because I'm not going to put my grinder on it and burn my finger. A little piece of washer in here. There you go. Pop that out for a nice clean nugget. We're really getting some nice brass today. Actually gotten quite a bit of uh, zinc or white pop metal also. Pop metal. That is a nice piece of brass nugget. See that? You always want to do that before you bring it in. If you have a piece of brass, because if they look at that, for them, they can't tell that's brass. So you got to do that so you can actually see the brass. So just about every piece, until they get used to you, you're going to have to do that too. Just like that piece. I'm going to throw that in there as dirty, I think. Because I'm going to have a hard time getting that little thing off of there. Dirty piece of brass. You're going to have clean brass. You're going to have dirty brass. You're going to have a mixed brass brass. Oh, yeah. Oh, isn't it? That's copper. That's a solid piece of copper. Copper goodness, straight into my copper pile, just like that. This is actually number one copper, and that's number two copper. So whether you get downgraded for that or not, I'll probably cut that off that little bit, throw it in my number two, and I'll throw that into my number one. Don't think they'll downgrade me for that little bit of piece that was in here in there Appears to be stuck with glue here. Yeah, that's glued on there. I'm not getting that off. That's been heat shrunk around that. There's a piece of copper and a piece of aluminum. Probably throw that in there as my irony. Copper or copper aluminum. Maybe they'd take it as a copper aluminum rad dirty. I, I don't know on that one. Never ran into one of them before. Let me get my ends out of here that I would. Here, another piece of brass. Might be copper. piece of copper with a brass nut on it. We'll put that over there and see if we can't get that apart. Nice piece of brass. Nice piece of brass. It's already been scratched. I know what this is, pop metal. Another piece of solid, clean. Nope, steel. Solid clean steel. 
I'll unscrew that out of there and get that little piece of brass nugget. That's obviously a piece of steel with a bunch of junk on it. Save my washers. These things have a lot of aluminum on them and steel. doesn't appear to unscrew anywhere else. I'm going to throw that into my dirty aluminum. Just because it's not worth the work. To make it clean, dirty brass, that fitting goes through a piece of aluminum. So I do have dirty brass, I have clean brass. These have their own category, always. Zinc, some more brass, copper, brass, copper noodle, brass. Copper, copper. Zinc, zinc. That's it. A piece of brass. Brass nugget. Brass nugget. All right, let's do that again. A piece of brass. Beautiful goodness. Here today. Shred. Nice wire. This is heavy duty wire too. Heavy. Ooh, messy at the bottom. Messy at the bottom. A lot of good nuggets in here though. Cast aluminum. Oh yeah, nice piece of brass. Plug-ins. These are brass. People probably melt them down. I don't. I put them in my, my shred pile. What we got here? This old mess zinc. Another handle. Cast aluminum. Brass, 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 brass.
fitting on there. Oh yeah, got it. Clean air right up. Brass goodness. Keys even. Or generally brass. Zinc. A little bit of copper. Or zinc. Brass goodness. Brass and copper. This is number one right here. Number one copper. Dirty, dirty here, let me tell you. Some nice copper wire. Let me out of there. Brass nuggets. Getting down to the nitty gritty. Nitty gritty. All brass though. Bunch of brass and copper. Little copper nugget there. That's number one copper. Another key, is it brass? Yes, it is. Keys, I'm telling you, they always or generally are brass. Key chains, same thing. They are brass a lot of times, not every time. I'm not gonna get too technical down here. I'm almost done. A lot of trash, trash. I'll throw it right into the shred. Oh, brass, brass.
right into my shred because it's not worth my time going through it. For pennies, a couple of pennies. I can make nothing on a penny or two. Brass. Zinc, zinc, zinc. Copper. And brass, brass, brass. Zinc. Zinc, pop metal. Alright guys, I emptied that whole bucket. What's next? What's next? What's next? I gotta find something out here to do. All right, guys, scrap with Grandpa. That was the entire bucket scrapped out. A uh, bunch of bunch of brass. All my brass pieces, dirty and clean, mostly clean, mostly clean. So, a good sized bucket. I wonder. I wonder. Oh yeah, what that mostly clean bucket weighs. Mostly clean. Zeroed out. Yeah. 21.5 pounds. That's the dirtiest piece I have in there. That's brass. Dirty brass. That's the next dirtiest piece in there. Everything else in there is, is basically all clean. So just a couple pieces right there. These two pieces are the only dirty brass I have. So 18.7 pounds of dirty. I mean clean. Minus the little one pound bucket. If that, that's nice. That's $60 bucket right there, easy. $60 bucket. 